today. It was fascinating inside the courtroom, and it was a stunning debut, Chris, as you noted, for Judge Tanya Chutkin, who really is an unknown player to most of us following this drama. She was alternately funny at one point. Trump's lawyer, John Loro, said to her, Your Honor, you hit the nail on the head with that one. And she said, I think that's the last time you're going to say that. She was also <laughs> firm, and about two things in particular. She was firm that the First Amendment rights that Donald Trump has have to yield to the fair administration of justice. And she was also firm that political calculations are not going to enter her decision making in either direction. And most importantly, I was really impressed by how clever Judge Chutkin was, because we all know that Donald Trump is like the honey badger of his own political life, right? He doesn't give a flying leap about some of the things that might incentivize other people's behavior, like sanctions right. or even a contempt ruling. And at the end, when she essentially said, counsel and your client, you are responsible for de-escalating your rhetoric, because if you continue along this path, I'll have no choice but to try this case sooner. That is both responsible in the administration of justice, but she might have also found the one stick that could motivate a horse named Trump, because the one thing that you know he doesn't want is this trial to happen on an expeditious timeline, Chris. You know, I had the exact same thought when I saw that, was what's the one thing they care about? Clearly, they don't want this to happen fast. And again, it was another moment that underlines we all know the score here, right? The judge does. Jack Smith's office does. Everyone thought they don't want this trial to happen before the election. He's trying to get elected so he could get rid of this case. Correct. And, you know, his lawyers know that well, too, because notwithstanding the fact that on social media this week, Trump said repeatedly, I'm not going to obey. I'm not going to comply. John Loro was full of assurances to Judge Chutkin that his client would not only comply with the conditions of his release, but that he would comply with any protective order, too. So now you've got a Trump lawyer on the record making representations face to face with a judge saying, my client is going to obey you. And if he doesn't, there will be some consequences, not only for Donald Trump, but potentially for his lawyers as well, Chris. Lisa, your coverage essential as always. Thank you so much for making time to join us tonight. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Harry Lippmann's